Physical Bears got his easy A uh, two nights ago, or well, last night, on Global Dokkan here. We're gonna go over his kit real quick. Uh, 11,000 defense, I mean, that's okay, because I only have a 69%, so. Uh, exploding Rage or ROG, three key, 170% attack and defense. Um, stacks attack, 50% debuff on super. 50% uh, attack and 200% defense plus additional 150% attack when performing a super. Reduces damage received by 40% with 3 key spheres. And then he gets an additional 30% damage reduction with uh, 7 key spheres before he attacks. So it's limited to slot 1 or slots 2 and 3 AoEs. Um, what else? And then an additional 150% attack and defense in the same turn he gets hit. Okay. And then randomly changes key spheres of a certain type to rainbow. And then effective against all types when there's a realm of gods category ally. I think the key... Yeah, the orb changing and the super attack. I mean super... The super effective against all types, those are the same limit uh, restrictions. Then his active skill. HP 70% or less from the fourth turn. Not too bad. Uh, attack and defense plus 50% and super effective against all types for one turn. So he does get defense on that. Yeah, I'm, listen, I was out of defensive equips, so uh, this is all I had. This is literally all I had, so I just gave him the 5 attack. Link level 10. Uh, he's an Exploding Rage, ROG, Movie Bosses, Siblings Bond, Worthy Rivals, Bond Master and Disciples, Space Traveling Wars, Planetary Destruction. <laughs> Legendary Existence and Battle of Fate. So we got a little team going here. I already got the rotation started. Unfortunately, I did not link level STR Whis. I should have linked level them a long time ago. My Whis is rainbowed. Level 5 defense, yeah. Dodge and defense. Now remember, when Whis gets the 50% per dodge, it's exponential, so they stack on top of each other. They don't just... Like, they don't just, like... They don't just stack. Like, they stack and multiply into each other. Which, uh, is gonna get pretty crazy. When he has all of his links active and stuff. Masu did no damage, okay. Who also runs the Masu after the super should be fine. Whis! Uh, he's got a dodge. <laughs> he's got a dodge a couple. He can take some after he gets a few dodges in, but let's see. Okay. 150% stack. It's 50% like of his actual defensive stat, not like start of turn defense before links, any of that nonsense. It's just raw 50%, 50%, 50%. 50%. So that's how his dodge gets out of hand real fast. Okay, well, 170k. We need some links active for sure. I mean, he had some links. We need Connoisseur pretty much. Oh, perfect. The AoE is the first attack. Intenzamasu is going to be doing pretty good this video. SR Weiss does support with beers on rotation too, huh? He only gives 50% attack, though. Okay, but that's crazy. Gonna be healing. Whis heals 10%, and then from Connoisseur, we'll be getting... It's not like level 10, so we'll be getting 3.5% HP back. But then we go to, uh, Physical Beerus. Who has Connoisseur as well, and he's gonna be healing the full 7%. Uh, Zamasu's gonna heal when he supers. AGL Zamasu, who was in slot 7. Bro, the game loves putting my AGL Zamasu in slot 7. Like, he needs to be on rotation. But yeah, he's gonna have, um, his 10% heal at the end of turn, is it? Yeah, at the end of the turn. So we're gonna be healing a lot on this team. I'm actually gonna do this, because I want Intzimasu to, um... I want him to get his hits. He needs to get hit, what, six times? So you get his guaranteed additional, which is gonna be... It's pretty much guaranteed 14%. Um, 14% HP every single turn once he double, once he starts double supering. And then he can do an additional uh, to heal even more from the hidden potential system. 7 million. Good job, Beers. 
Uh, it's his first attack. He doesn't have all of his uh, links active. He would have had more active with Intzimasu, but, you know, I wanted him to get the hit, so I floated him. Oh, this is not going to do damage. Oh, wait, he's only up 40% since he did get to attack, huh? 140k. Okay. I mean, you know. I've seen this guy hit uh, some very strong characters for more than that, so I'll take it, I'll take it. Now, if if we are planning to do the Infinite Sanctuary, Beerus is going to be in trouble, because he is super class. That's kind of, that's kind of a, we're kind of in a pickle in that one. Hopefully there's an AoE in slot 1 so I can run Angel's Muscle in slot 2 and still get his guaranteed additional. Perfect. I mean, yeah, look how much we're healing, dude. Uh, yeah. Angel's Muscle is going to heal at the end of turn. That's not good. Uh, he can't kill us on this turn, but that's just damage, right? We're just, we just have to eat that. Bye bye 200k HP. Please don't do damage, please don't do damage. Okay, double bits and dodge. Stop. Good job, Colossus Moss. I don't know why my allergies are acting up. Please don't sneeze. I was literally fine all day until I hit record, bro. Oh yeah, now you want to do yeah, all the additions. I mean, 10 million on a 12 key. I'll take that. I'm recording... I was gonna say I'm recording a bit earlier than usual, but now I was setting up my recording. Um, I did switch over from media player to Windows media player for the, for the background jams, because uh, media player was having some issues. Couldn't get into my storage, all that stuff, so yeah, I'm just, I'm not dealing with that. <laughs> yeah, it took me like, uh, I was setting up for about an hour, but no. Uh, also, yeah, I wasn't recording yesterday because uh, Modern Warfare 3 came out and I was playing that all day. Uh, if you couldn't tell, if you couldn't tell, I was playing for quite some time. Okay. Okay, double super by Glossu and Zamasu. I think they're already taking double digits with one super, but... You know, it never hurts. Well, maybe it does. Uh, we're gonna heal 10%. I'm sorry, what? Wait, maybe the healing just... That was from Connoisseur? Aren't you supposed to heal me, my boy? I need to get hit five times before he heals, huh? And then we have to be at... So he healed at the start of turn, okay. Okay, there goes our 7. 170k defense. Yeah, at 150% when he gets hit. AGO Weiss is down to 100k defense because Gwasman's and Masu are no longer around, huh? Uh, Weiss does need to dodge because even with like a. After he got a couple of dodges, he took 170k with support and Gwasman's and Masu. Okay, thank you. Beer should wrap this up. <laughs> yeah, you're not hurting us, but yeah, sorry. Sorry, uh, I hate to break it to you, but, uh, no. He did lower attack, but we stack attack. He can't lower stacked attack. So we're up to 9 million now. That's just, yeah, that's GG's, huh? Okay. Sorry, HP. This is turn 4. Oh, no. Yeah, no, this is turn, yeah, this is turn 4. Uh-oh. Oh, no, it's turn 5. Let's go. No, we heal too much. We can't do infinite sanctuary. Ah. Ah. So Brody's down to 40% damage reduction. You're not link level 10? Why? Yeah, so he's down at 40% damage reduction, so I'm not even gonna test. I wish I can get a 12 key with him. Because it's defense. Whatever. If we get supered, I mean, we're just, it's just over. This guy does tend to wait a little bit before he supers, so maybe we can weasel our way out of this. 
Uh, we're still dead if he supers here. This is a double staff. Yeah, because we didn't have uh, Azio's Moss was in slot 7, so we didn't get the 30% stack, which is much more effective than the 20% stacks he's getting now, even though he gets guaranteed additionals now. Uh, we kind of... Uh, everyone else got a head start over Angel's Master that goes in potential system additional normal. This guy's dead. Uh, even if he does two... We might survive if he does two additional, uh, 12 keys. He needs to do one more 12 key, and I think we can survive that. And then Int Zamasu will take some damage, but he'll heal up enough for us not to die. I think we're... F well, he didn't get his defense yet from getting hit. He's gonna get so much defense, but it's too late. Yeah, man. 670k. I'm not sure what our HP was. Our HP probably wasn't that high since, uh, Beerus, physical Beerus and STR Weiss aren't on the 200%. But if you, you know, if you saw, like, in comparison to my other, uh, Zamasu, my other runs in, like, this Zamasu fight, you can see this team got quite a bit farther than a lot of other teams. I mean, if you ask me, I think, I personally think Tex, LR Tex Zamasu is the best character in the game. But, wait, listen, at, at least AJL Zamasu was in slot 7. I'm not going to complain too much. At least the boy in slot 7. Okay, so as you can see, the seven orbs will help us here with the, um, the AoE normal here. I put, uh, Tekzamasu in front of that, because, uh, you know, Tekzamasu can't be touched. But as you can see, uh, as of last turn, like, uh, LR Tekzamasu, he can be caught. Um, it's just, him getting caught is so, like, it's so situational. Cause like, let's say we, if we literally didn't have a bunch of healing characters on our team, which we do want, right? That is a good thing to have a lot of healing on the team, but that did prevent us from getting, um, the infinite sanctuary, which we would have literally laughed at the super attack. Like, like when I say literally laughed, I mean, that's literally the animation of Zamasu's notification. Oh, we found the perfect spot to super us, but we're still going to take not that much damage. Yeah, 140k. We'll heal that right up next turn. I'm, not, I'm putting Angel's Master in slot 2 next turn. We'll have a lot of defense to go in slot 1, but he's, he's not going to be ready with no stacks. Hopefully he gives us a double super. Yeah, yeah, I'll put him in slot 2. Gloss and Zamasu, hopefully they get some dodges in. A lot of physical orbs I want to save for next turn. West well, Jerry was in slot 7. So that means he's going to come right back in slot. Uh, yeah, on the same turn as Beerus. He and Super. Surely he's not saving the Super Attack for the character that, uh, that can't dodge it, huh? Hey, Joseph Masu will survive. He'll heal up a little bit at the end of the turn as well. And he double supers, yeah, because remember, he's got Golosu and Zamasu. That's Cold Judgment and 70% defensive support. Uh, so he's gonna be fine. It Zamasu is also fine, because he's got 60% damage reduction and 70% support. Yeah, of course. This guy that gets on my nerves. Like, he's... This boss is so annoying. Yeah, 300k, bye-bye. We're gonna get, like, 7% of that HP back. Oh, wait, no, yeah, Ajo's Zamasu heals quite a bit, right? Okay. I'll take it, I'll take it. Now we can ensure Tech Zamasu gets his Wolfie. Okay, yeah, I see we're at 615,000 HP, so we... W that was a hundred... Yeah, we did get hit a hundred to zero last turn. Or not last turn, last run. 10 million off rip. Oh, because our HP is low? Is that how it works? Oh no, he stacked. He got a stack. Oh, and he didn't get debuffed. Right? Because last time after he stacked, the monster did debuff him. 
Okay, man, get them dodging in. Zamasu already got his hit, so he's got his defense active. AJ also Zamasu next turn should be ready for... S no, I'm not going to test it. Good job. Good job. Good job, Zamasu. Get them 12 keys in. I wish uh, Zamasu's key links weren't so good, so I can actually go for the um, 12 key. His 18 key gives him 30% defense, but his 12 key gives him uh, 50 it, bro. You're not doing that. I'm sorry. You're not. You're not hurting Texas boss. Yeah, three dodge. Cool. I mean, that saves us for from getting an attack debuff. But he's floating, so it'd have been gone. But cool to see the thingy, the little dodge icon pop up. <laughs> the little nut -uh button. I'll do this right here. That's a lot of attack for Zamasu. I don't think he'll kill though. And Zamasu can't kill Texamasu, and we're, we're just gonna heal, alright? Yeah, I mean... We're just healing all, all day long. All day long. That is 300k, but... Uh... Actually... When HP, we need to be below 50%. We might have a physical versus active skill. Oh, well, which we're not going to use, because we're not on physical Zamasu just yet. Wait a second. No, we don't have a we don't have a Zamasu next turn. I was going to say, what if I pop Infinite Sanctuary now? But well, we're not even going to kill. Well, hold on. Because my Zamasu, my Ideal Zamasu does have 30 additional, so he could do another one and then go also in Zamasu. Should clean up. Additional normal, that's... That will do damage, actually. He's attacks that so high? No. Okay, no. Gawasu and Zamasu will finish this, though. Uh, we could do Infinite Sanctuary. Uh, how wise would that be, though? Actually, if there's a spot where Beerus doesn't have to get hit... Oh, no. Right, right. It doesn't... I keep saying we have Infinite Sanctuary. No, he's not on rotation. Okay, so we do have to do this. Uh, I almost goofed. This animation is very good still. This is one of the first. Yeah, this is one of the... F I think he's... Is, no. No, I was going to say he's like the first character with one of these, but no. It was... Was he the first T.U.R.? Of, um, what was it? Post 50th anniversary? Yeah, he was like right after 50th anniversary, right? If I'm remembering, at least on JP. I would love to get the physical orbs, but, uh, no. 260k defense. 40% damage reduction. Uh, brother, you're gonna have to get hit at least once. Uh, at least once. <laughs> Please get hit at least once. One normal. One normal. One normal. Oh, this is a super. 10 million. There's a lot of defense he has, but uh, please get hit once. Just please get hit once, buddy, with the normal. Okay. And now this is going to kill. But, you know, we get to see what he tanks is for, at least. We saw him put in the damage. 700k if we couldn't move. Uh, even on a 200% leader skill, that is bye-bye. Uh, that is bye-bye Beerus. So, uh... If that was in slot one, that's that's a much different story, right? He takes 30% less. Well, I don't know if that's still enough. But I mean, I like physical bears. Um, as you can see, just worst rotations possible. We made it to fit. We made it to physical Zamasu two times in a row, and he's not even on a 200% later skill. So I'll take I'll take this setup, right? Like, it's not like I'm flip-flopping between a bunch of characters that don't even link and I'm running around losing my head. Oh, man, this character has to stack and I accidentally floated him off. Like, no, we had it. Like, the, he has a setup, right? Put Beerus next to Whis and play the game. <laughs> Pretty much. So, I mean, thumbs up. Physical Beerus.
Now, if I wanted to play it, like, if I wanted to just spam the event all day and use all five of my attempts, I'm pretty sure I can come out with a dub. Like, I mean, you guys saw, like, double, double Zamasu rotation, and then the next rotation was literally two, two base Zamasus and Guasu and Zamasu in the middle. Um, like, if, if things go our way, we can... Like even not even if things go our way. If things aren't uh, the odds aren't stacked against us, we can get a dub pretty cleanly. So uh, they give us a good little unit, physical Beerus. Hopefully in the future, hopefully in the future, Beerus himself is a two hundred percent leader skill. I want to see a new Doke on Fest Beerus or a Whis. I don't know what Whis would do though. But yeah, I, I, I could see a Doke on Fest Beerus or a Doke on Fest Whis. Um, just something to get these two on the 200% leader skill and, you know, take some take a load off the backs of these big bad bosses characters. Because they're, they're kind of trying to do their own thing, right? Um, like, the characters they want you to throw on the team is like Cell and stuff like that. Cell, Meki Kabora, all the heroes, um, time traveler characters, stuff like that. Like, if Demi Grove were to get Nizie, that's what they want you to throw on the team, not... Beerus and Whis, which you can still do, but you know, these guys don't have big bad bosses. You're kind of holding them back So I I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video. Um, yeah, Beerus was good